There is a warning. The SSPCA is at crisis point as it tackles the highest running costs in its 180-year history. Veterinary supplies, food and energy bills mean the charity has been stretched to its limits with more animals than usual needing rehomed. With this report, here's Kirsten Tate. From cats and dogs to horses and snakes and everything else in between, this rehoming centre is almost at capacity. That's because people are being forced to give up their pets, simply because the price of keeping them is too much. Those costs are now on the SSPCA. Food costs, some of our animals in our care are on specialist diets, um, so we need to make sure that we get the right food in for them. Um, maintenance of all our buildings, we also have horses here in our Aberdeenshire site, so again, there's, you need to make sure that the fields are up to the standards that they need to be, obviously add into that daily running that we, we are facing at the moment. It's now costing us £56,000 a day to run, and that's a 14% increase compared to last year. Um, and all our energy contracts are due renewal at the end of this year, so that is a big concern for us. During the pandemic, some households decided to take on a new pet. Now that we've returned to normality, an influx of dogs have been coming through the doors here. So presumably with the cost of living, more and more dogs are being handed in here? Yeah, we've seen a 35% increase at this site alone. Okay. Um, and the reasons are can't afford vet fees, um, can't afford food and so on. Yeah, and um, with the cost going up, for the SSPCA themselves, it must be quite strenuous financially to keep them here. Yeah, no it is, because we've got energy bills to pay, we've got food and everything to provide, we've got maintenance of all our sites, um, so it's a huge concern for us as well and a huge challenge. The financial burden on everyone means donations are down too. But the charity say no animal will be left hungry. Despite being stretched to their limits, the team responded to more than 85,000 call-outs for animals in need last year. That included more than 13,000 dogs, over 3,000 hedgehogs and almost 8,000 cats. With 10 centres to run and heat and a fuel contract ending this year, there's real concerns for the future of Scotland's rehoming centres. Kirsten Tate, STV News.